please, every, every cell, everything going on in your life, every loyalty with, with your team, all those things, whoever can communicate the best gets it all. The art of communication, everybody get it? If you're obsessed with it, you'll become great at it. So one of the things you should write down is to expose is I need to learn to communicate with people better. I need to stop thinking about what to say, right, while they're still talking. Like most of you, you already know what you're gonna say, right? So no matter what they say, you're gonna say it anyways. You're an idiot. The number one skill in communication is the art of listening. This is super important. And I want you to think about this today. All right, am I the greatest? And I'm gonna give you some areas because I believe these key areas are exposing the gaps and the holes for you to become who you're supposed to become. This right here, I would tell you, man, I, I always say that, you know, I'm all, my percentages are always screwed up. I'm always like, 90% of my wealth came from this. And the next one, I'm like, 85% of my wealth. My Andy Elliott staff, I'm like, 90% of my wealth has come from this. Follow me. Communicator. The greatest skill on planet Earth. The ability to look at a human being in the eyes, put yourself in their shoes, and understand what the hell is going on. Please let me explain. You walk into the office today, hey, we got energy, baby. We're fired up. Hey, what's this guy's problem? What's this guy's problem? Oh, poopy pants, face, hold up. Dude, is he fighting with his wife? Did his wife cheat on him? Dude, is somebody sick in his family? You don't even know. Before you attack, you need to communicate. Okay, because some of you in here, I'm an alpha, and an alpha wants to attack and go to war. You might be cutting the wrong person's head off. Slow down, okay? Maybe your husband comes home from work and he's, yeah, I get, remember he said special energy, mother <laughs> Yeah, and you're in here right now and you're all drained. But you don't know that on the, way, on the way home, something happened. All right, babe, this isn't you. I know you. I know you. Well, you're not complaining. I know you're not a complainer. I know you're not a whiner. I know you're not a crybaby. What's wrong? What's the problem? We're not going to complain. I want you to get it out. We're going to get rid of it. What is it? Tell me. Nothing. So you're telling me you're not smiling for no reason. You're not happy to see your family. Well... Okay, spit it out so we can get it out of your ass, and I love you, and then we can remove it. You gotta communicate, man. Dude, this works for your marriage. This works with your kids. Dude, I, I told someone the other day, the art of communication, understanding what someone else wants. My kid, I wanted him, I wanted him to go to the gym with me. I wanted him to do all these things with me. And then he just was misbehaving. It was like, He's 13, he's gonna be 14. He's like every day was like this kid was getting worse, fighting with his sisters, doing all kinds of crazy things. So I'm not paying attention. I'm not taking my own advice. I start taking things away from him. I take his phone away. I take his games away. I take everything away. I took everything away he possibly could. I grounded him. In the beginning when I used to do these tactics, it was like, no, dad, please don't do that. You know what? Now he's like, take it, take it all. He's going cold on me. And dude, that's a bad thing. Because some of you, like a woman to a man or a man to a woman, you could be like, dude, my wife ain't gonna be this. I'm just gonna start taking shit away. Dude, you're hurting the person that if someone else hurt, you would kill them. If someone hurt my kid, I would kill him. I'm hurting him. I want you to understand this. This is the art of communication. This is why you better get good. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now, and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. You better understand, this is not making money. I make a lot of money from communicating. I have a great marriage because I'm a master communicator. I have, I have awesome kids 
because I'm a great communicator. And also I have to communicate with me. I sometimes am not processing information properly and I'm going the wrong road. I'm very extreme, so I need to be careful sometimes to, I have to think. This is processing, guys. This is, this is the computer board, okay? Remember, you got a brain. It's resilience. The greatest thing that God ever gave you was your heart and your mind. I bet most of you are only using 5% of your mind. I am tapping into more of it every day. More consciously aware. If I do this, this thing could happen or this thing could happen. Slow down. You know what I realized? Who in here doesn't want to have love? We all want love, right? Do you guys think me taking everything away from him was loving him more or loving him less? I wanted him, I wanted him to do what he wasn't doing. I want him to say, no, dad, please, I'll change now. But now I've played that card so many times, now he's not doing it. You know what I realized? He's 13, 14 years old. He needs love. Why? I've known this my whole life. If you want to get someone to do something, show them you love them and they'll do it. People will kill for you. But you take everything away, you make it miserable, they'll resent you and they'll want to fight you. And that's it. By the way, the skill of communication. So you know what I did? I said, hey, and by the way, we're all leaders. Leaders own their shit. I literally said, hey, I'm sorry. Listen, come here. I can tell he's cold as ice. I'm grabbing him. He's like an ice cube. I'm like, come here. I'm like, I love you. I'm always going to love you. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not, I haven't been being a good dad. Like, I love you. I'm, I'm super proud of you. I tell everybody how great you are. I'm giving you all your stuff back. I know it was never taking your stuff away. I know you needed more love. I said, I haven't been loving you right. I know it's going to be weird. I know the next couple days are going to be really weird. I'm going to keep hugging you. I'm going to keep loving you. But me and you are going to get close again. Well, my son starts crying. He gives me a hug. The next couple days, I stay the same. I stay loving. I'm waking him up to go to the gym with me now. I'm doing things. I sit down and played a game with him at night. I never played a game with him. Dude, I want him to be interested in what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in what he's interested in. It's got to be two ways. Dude, within three days, listen, listen, crazy. A marriage can be reborn in three days. In a minute. One, two, three days, I got a new son. Me and him have been like this since that. Watch. Communication. Please. Every, every cell, everything going on in your life, every loyalty with, with your team, all those things. Whoever can communicate the best gets it all. So today, a master communicator, it's three things. One, that, someone that makes it easy to say yes to. Hard to say no. Gotta be, yep, you gotta make it hard to say no to and gotta make it the client's idea if you're in sales. The art of communication to me is to be able to put yourself in someone else's shoes. I don't feel sorry for people. I don't think people want you to feel sorry for them. I'll ask people. The people are complaining. I'm like, are you wanting me to feel sorry for you? Like, I, is that communication? That is communication, right? See, because I want to remove that. So I'm like, are you wanting me to feel sorry for you? And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay. Let's make sure that you're telling me the problem so we can fix it and we're solving something. Because I don't want this to be a victim deal. And I know that you don't want to be seen as a victim, do you? No, I don't. Okay, good. Did I just communicate that to them? Did I just make it their idea that they don't want to be a victim? Yeah, dude. I just closed that ass. Okay? That... That being a victim is not what they want, but most of the time, most people, when they're telling you something, they try to turn it. And I say, whoa, the way you're telling me this, I love you, but like, you're not trying to be a victim, right? Like, you're wanting to explain what the deal is so we can solve it. Is that right? Okay, cool. Because you're not wanting me to feel sorry for you, are you? No, you're wanting me to team up with you so we can attack this problem. Is that correct? You notice I'm asking questions veering the conversation the way that I want so it is a productive one and it actually has a close at the end. The art of communication. Everybody get it? If you're obsessed with it, you'll become great at it. So one of the things you should write down is to expose is I need to learn to communicate with people better. I need to stop thinking about what to say, right, while they're still talking. Like most of you, you already know what you're going to say, right? So no matter what they say, you're going to say it anyways. 
You're an idiot. The number one skill in communication is the art of listening. If you listen, you can close anyone. I can close anyone. I can help anyone. I can help anyone if I'll listen to them. And by the way, if people don't feel like they've been heard, they're not going to hear you. You want people to respect you? You got to give respect first. I know. And listen, I'm different. I say things most people won't say, but I get it in the air. I get it out there. And so people can really open up. That's the whole goal why communicating is so important. You want to get in deep conversations or shallow conversations? Deep ones. You, you guys, if you sell something, do you get paid a lot to solve little problems or big problems? Big problems get solved in deep communication. So you want to make more money? Know your clients better. Get them to open up with you in a way they've never opened up with anyone else. If they're telling you, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but you're like, yes, yes. No, and it's not like an arrogant thing. It's like, yes, I'm doing my job. I can finally help these people. Wouldn't you hate to diagnose a problem, but you didn't have all the information? The doctor goes in, what's wrong? You could say anything, but he starts asking questions. So that way he can figure out what the hell's up. They get all the questions and then they diagnose. And so my goal is with you guys, if you want to change the world, you got to be a master communicator. Number two, got to be a leader. By the way, all day long, this is what we're going to cover, but we're setting the foundation to build the house on. Being a leader is three things. Number one, and by the way, this is how you get rich. It's how you get rich. Sales and leadership will make you rich. How you get rich in sales and leadership is communication. Self-leadership. Self Number one, you are not allowed to lead anyone else if you're not leading yourself right. You're not, not allowed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna follow you. I can't imagine if someone else would follow you. No ways. No, okay, by the way, number two, leading others. Once you're leading yourself right, now you can lead others. Now I can lead you. Don't be a fraud. Now I can lead other people. Okay, number three. This, this is where you get rich. If you guys want to know, the rich part doesn't come to number three. Building leaders that want to build more leaders. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Every day I have people text me to say, Andy, how can I make more money? And the number one thing that I hear is, Andy, I don't want to quit my job and go into this industry that says it'll pay more money because it's too risky. So my buddy here, Eric Klein, is literally teaching wholesale real estate, how people can keep their job and make low to six figures to mid six figures part time, virtually from anywhere in the world. Now, why am I telling you that? Well, number one, we have an event coming up. It's already sold out, but in 2025, we're gonna be running a streamline of events that are gonna be teaching this. If you're watching this right now and you wanna be close to me and you wanna make this kind of money, he's telling you about it. And by the way, full time, you can earn seven figures plus. So if you're watching this and you're like, dude, I need to know this, I wanna make money like that, whether you're a risk taker or you want to play it safe, you just make mid six figures. I'm cool with that. I really don't care. Guys, text the number below right now. I'm going to send you the dates of the events that we're putting on in 2025. When we release the dates, they always sell out immediately. Our next event sold out. I can't even sell you a ticket. But 2025 is releasing right now. I'll give you the schedule. Take a look at your calendar. If you can make one, it'll change your whole life. You've been looking for your way out. You want to earn the money you've been wanting to earn. This is it. Text the number below. Let's get back to the video. See, Elliot Army, I was the first leader, and then I built them as leaders, and that felt so good for them to be built as a leader that now they're walking around like, dude, I want to make you a leader. I want to make you a leader. I want to make her a leader. I want to make him a leader too. I want to make you a leader. Dude, I got leaders building more leaders. <laughs> they're just all in leadership every day. You come in, dude, I have a company that is Andy and Jacqueline, and then there's everyone else. I'm not better, we're not over, we're all together. There is no sales manager, general manager. There's no in between. We are all leaders. Everyone knows what we're doing. Everyone knows they're a leader. No one needs a title or a position. Oh, I'm this, this, this in the company. I've never had a person say, we say we're a coach. You're a coach, 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 you're a coach. You're all coaches. You're all coaching people 
to do what you want them to do. You're all coaching everyone. You're all coaches. You're the same as us. You're all coaches. There's no titles. And by the way, leadership is a skill of influence. Don't tell me you're a leader if you're not influencing anybody's life. Don't tell me you're a leader. I don't want to hear it. You're the boss, and people will work for the boss for a paycheck. And that's fine. You'll start, I had a guy tell me, he goes, Andy, I'm building this company. I got a bunch of salespeople, or I'm, I'm about to hire a bunch of salespeople. What kind of comp plan should I pay him? I'm going to give you the advice in, in 20 seconds. I said two things. Number one, you either pay him really good. You pay him a lot of money, and you pay him higher than anyone else in the industry. Three times as much. Three times as much. Yep. Yep. And, then, and by the way, listen, I'm just explaining to you my theory here. And then, in 20 years, you still got the same people. No one ever left. And these people get their dreams, you get your dream. That's it. Or you can pay them industry, right? Industry money. And eventually, at some point, someone's going to ante up more money. At some point, somewhere, they're going to leave and they're going to go because they want to make more money. And then you're going to go to hire another guy to replace that guy, but you train them up to go work for your competition. You choose. When you hire these people, do you want them to stay with you forever? Or are you hiring them to try to make a profit over the next year? I want them to stay with me forever. Good, pay more money. Listen, I don't work in your business, and I'm going to explain this to you. If somebody's in this room, they're like, oh, I need to go back and ask my job for more money now. So I'll stay here. Make sure you're great. You have to be the best. Because I only hire the best. And by the way, I don't hire off skill. I hire off heart. Jacqueline hires off heart. So the people that I'm hiring aren't talented people. I want people that are very talented, but I want people who are extreme with their heart and are after the same mission that I'm after. And those people will develop just like I will. And we all develop together. And since we're doing this thing together, we're all building this thing together. Everybody's bought in. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true .000 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, they can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, if you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, Click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.